Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Time of Wine Review. As we all know, this year marks the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. And throughout this year on this channel, I want to celebrate that landmark slightly differently, if I can, in some ways. And today I want to talk about the VHS video, specifically the tin sets that was released starting back in 1993 for the series 30th anniversary. VHS tapes, I feel, is a little bit of forgotten physical media, especially with the world of streaming and, of course, DVDs and Blu-rays. But I love my videos. I've still got my collection of Doctor Who videos. They're like my version of precious vinyl records for me. And especially the uh, tins that I've mentioned, the tin video sets, they are just a, a work of art on, on their own. So I thought let's celebrate these sets on this video. So please hit the subscribe button. It will really help out this channel. Let's look into these sets in a little bit more closer detail. Let's start with the first to be released by BBC Video back in September of 1993. This is the Dalek tin set containing the first Doctor story, the chase and the seventh Doctor story, Remembrance of the Daleks. I was lucky enough to acquire this tin set at a recent Comic Con a few years ago uh, because these tins are quite difficult to find these days in such good condition. Uh, as you can see, they're a little bit of a close up. There is some rust going on on these tins, but I've seen a lot more of these in far worse conditions. But look at the colouring on this, especially with the Dalek in the silver and the blue looking very similar to uh, the Daleks from the Patrick Troughton stories, Evil of the Daleks, to me. Turning this tin onto its side, and then you get this gorgeous 3D effect of the Daleks on Westminster Bridge, very similar to the Dalek invasion of Earth. And like you said, all of this, uh, the Daleks are in the foreground, same with the little Doctor Who logo, and Big Ben and Westminster all in the background as well. Again, in really good condition. Absolutely love this. And on the back, you get a description of what's inside, who's starring as who and the Doctor. And then you get this photo of Davros with Nida from Genesis of the Daleks back in 1975. Now, I didn't realise this, uh, but they changed the uh, the covers of, of these, the images on, on the back of this. Uh, there was four that was released. There was uh, apparently a Dalek uh, on Westminster Bridge from Dalek Invasion Earth. I believe there was the Emperor Dalek from the Evil of the Daleks. Then we have this one here from Genesis of the Daleks. And then we have a Necros Dalek from Revelation of the Daleks all in this cover. Just quickly show you the inside of this commemorative tin. Again, quite impressed that it is in such good condition with the hinges, like I said. I've seen so many that have just rusted out throughout the years. They don't really last that long, but this one, for whatever reason, uh, is built to last. And on the inside is you get these uh, plastic covering with the two VHS videos there of the chase and remembrance of the Daleks. Just quickly show you the front covers for the VHS videos because these are beautiful pieces of artwork. Starting off with the chase, the William Hartnell story, and it just shows everything that is going to happen in this story. You've got the TARDIS, then you've got the Dalek's own time vessel, and then a Dalek taking on a mechanoid or robotic monster with William Hartnell at the centre. Uh, these videos, like I said, these covers are just works of art in themselves and do stick around on this channel. Later in the year, I will be doing like a video art gallery. I'm just sort of piecing together how to present it at this moment in time. Uh, but it will be coming on in the future. I'll just quickly move on to Remembrance of the Daleks. And again, just detail look at Davros there with all the wires coming out uh, a bit of a sort of a spoiler for that story if you haven't seen it before uh, then you have the seventh doctor looking quite menacing I would say really you know very much the time lord manipulator uh, to kickstart season 25 of classic Doctor Who and then you got two Daleks a white Dalek and a black Dalek Imperial and the Renegades Gorgeous video covers. 
This morning, opening up these tins is a bit of a discovery for me. Like I said, I haven't really opened them up that much, that many times uh, when I bought them a couple of years ago. But uh, you can just work out the lettering of the Doctor Who 30th anniversary logo going on there and BBC video. But also, I didn't realise I had this in this set. I thought this was missing, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how I managed to miss this one. This was a History of the Daleks uh, book that came with this uh, commemorative set. And I can't really open it up very well, um, unfortunately, because the, the pages are quite tight. But uh, there are so many images on there for um, all the Dalek stories from the classic series of Doctor Who uh, with lots of facts and information as well. It's, it's a really good read. Uh, it's just quite difficult to open on this video. I do apologise. Again, I didn't realise I had this either. This was a little catalogue book from BBC Video to basically advertise what videos or radio collections they have uh, available back in 1993. Quickly show you some of them because you can go on this forever, but it just basically tells you what videos are available, which doctor it is, and a little bit of a synopsis of what's happening in those stories. And it has the BBC video catalog number as well. Just quickly show you the specially produced videos what was available on the BBC video catalogues, the three doctors, the five doctors, then you got the Hartnell years, the Troughton years. This is basically using up all the rare and lost stories, but still had the remaining uh, episodes to them. And also you got the Tom Baker years, Cybermen early years, Dalek early years as well. Uh, again, th these are great videos to have if you've got them in your collection. Let me know in the comments below what did you think uh, of, uh, of these uh, videos at the time and have you watched them recently? I'll just quickly show you the audio collection back from 1993 or from the 90s at the very least. And yeah, quite interesting ones. I think they were just like narrated stories. I never listened to the audio ones, so I do apologize. So again, let me know in the comments of any facts that you know about them. But I did find it interesting that they put like Tom Baker for Evil of the Daleks, Power of the Daleks, when it was clearly Patrick Charlton. Obviously he was narrating them, so maybe it was some kind of marketing ploy to basically sell more of these cassettes. Moving quickly on now to the TARDIS VHS set. This contained the entire Trial of the Time Lord season. Now, I remember buying this particular tin from a toy fair back in late um, mid-90s, I, I remember. I think it was only like £12 at the time, which is a bargain. And if you told young me that you've got an entire season of Doctor Who in your hands, I would have been jumping for joy and exploding in excitement. Um, but again, this is a pretty good condition. I felt like the TARDIS tins were a, in a bit of a sort of better model uh, or, or survived a bit more than the Dalek sets. I don't know why. Um, I, you would have thought it would be made out of the same sort of material. This was released back in October of 1993. I'll just quickly spin round the front there so you can see the, uh, the logo at the top. With Trial of the Time Lords contending three videos from BBC Video. And you might have seen this before on the uh, collections video that I've done on the Timeline Review YouTube channel. But mine is covered with autographs. So already we've got the late Honor Blackman, who was in Terror of the Boy Voids. That's uh, Nabil Shaman. Happy birthday to Nabil. He turned 70 just a few days ago, a few weeks ago. And we turn it down, turn it round again. Then we got the legendary Brian Blessed, who was also in Mind Warp. Bonnie Langford in her first debut story as Mel. Nicola Bryant as Perry. Michael Jaston as the Valyard. And Colin Baker as the Sixth Doctor. Again, I really like the design and look of the tin. It just looked like a toy as well. You know, you could have played with if you didn't have your classic Daypole TARDIS from the 80s and 90s. Quickly show you the bottom of the tin. 
This one had Colin Baker on it and again a description of all the stories and episodes. I know you're not getting that quite good with the light that's, uh, that I've got so I do apologise on that one. Uh, it's not in bad condition to be fair considering it's 30 years old. That came in when I bought it and a little bit of rusting but again it's still not too bad. I can't believe it's 30 years old. Just quickly show you the video cover for the containing the three tapes. My TARDIS tin does have the plastic casing inside to protect this video case, um, but it's a bit too difficult to get out, a bit too delicate to get out. You're not really missing much anyway on that one, but uh, looking at this video cover again, I've seen some in better conditions. Do apologize, mine's looking a little bit tattered there, but the artwork again looks amazing. You've just, basically telling the story of what the Sixth Doctor is coming up against with these monsters and, of course, the Valyard. I didn't realise the little background of the energy uh, dispersal that was going on towards that finale of the story. Uh, but again, just knowing that you've got an entire season in your hands, uh, which is, you know, pretty basic now, but back then, yeah, I would have been absolutely excited knowing this and it just brings back memories for me of watching these videotapes and I only got as far as mind warp I don't know whether it's because of Perry's death I was kind of like reluctant to carry on watching it it took me a long time to get through this entire season and getting it through to the end um maybe actually I, I stopped watching when uh, Mel screamed at the end of part one of Terror of the Verboids uh, but again it's a great case nonetheless so that was the Doctor Who VHS tin set from 1993. Let me know in the comments below, did you ever own these sets? And what kind of nostalgic memories did that stir up with you having those sets back in the 90s? Join me for part two as I look at even more collector tin sets that was released in the VHS line a few years later. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the cloister bell for more notifications, come say hello and follow me on Twitter at ReviewTimey and do check out my other fantastic Doctor Who content, not only on TikTok, but right here on the Timey Wine Review YouTube channel. Until then, stay safe. Thank you for watching.